Good day, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Sacred Hearts Parish celebrations. We have gathered to celebrate 100 years of this church building and 123 years of the life of the Sacred Hearts Parish. But just what is that history? Who were these people? Watch and listen now to learn more about who these people were, our ancestors in faith. This is now our history. We are the present part of this ongoing story. In 1899, Reverend Thomas Sebastian Byrne, the fifth bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nashville, Tennessee, had a unique vision for the new Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish he was going to establish in Memphis. The six existing Memphis parishes were all located close to the Mississippi River and each served a particular ethnic group in a particular language. St. Peter's served the English-speaking, St. Mary's the Germans, St. Patrick's and St. Bridget the Irish, and St. Joseph the Italians. There was growing concern that keeping parishes in ethnic language communities was slowing the Americanization of immigrants and was impairing the growth of the Catholic Church in America. Sacred Heart Parish was to be located outside the city limits, almost three miles from the river, and it would be defined by geographic boundaries. Parkway on the north, McLean on the east, Peabody on the south, and Dunlap on the west. Everyone living within these boundaries was to attend Sacred Heart Church, no matter their ethnic background, no matter their language. The first building on the southwest corner of Jefferson and Cleveland was dedicated in 1901 and housed both a church and a school staffed by the Sisters of Charity of Nazareth, Kentucky. The school grew so quickly that within 10 years, expansion was needed. Property on the northwest corner of the intersection was purchased for a new church building and a rectory. The lower level of the church, called the Crypt, was completed in 1913, but World War I delayed construction. The current church building, with its three marble altars, Franz Meyer stained glass windows from Germany, and Mahler pipe organ, was dedicated in 1922. In 1924, the Silver Jubilee of the founding of the parish was celebrated and a new three-story rectory complete with an elevator was built. In 1926, Joseph Leppert was the first priest ordained in Memphis at Sacred Heart Church, which was the home of the cathedra or chair of the Bishop of Nashville and his representative in Memphis. Forty years later, Monsignor Leppert would be a leader in civil rights and desegregation in Memphis. The Golden Jubilee of the parish coincided with the 50th anniversary of ordination of Monsignor Louis Kempfews, who was pastor for 34 years from 1929 to 1963. In 1966, a gymnasium was built on Cleveland Street and named in honor of Monsignor Kempfews. The Sacred Heart Schools fostered more than 10 priestly vocations, religious brothers, 40 religious sisters, many musicians, and prominent citizens. In 1964, the lower level of the church was home to the first Curcio weekend in Memphis led by Father James McLean, hosting 50 men. Weekends for Women began in 1965, and offices for the movement were housed at Sacred Heart. During the 1960s, 
The neighborhood around Sacred Heart was growing increasingly commercial due to the growth of the medical center and the new St. Jude Hospital. Parishioners moved east, which resulted in a dwindling supply of grade school children at the same time that there were fewer nuns to staff the school. The grade school closed in 1968. Two years later, Nashville Bishop Adrian closed both the African-American Father Bertram High School at St. Augustine Parish and the Sacred Heart Girls High School, combining those students with the Catholic Boys High School, creating the co-ed integrated Memphis Catholic High School. In 1971, the Diocese of Memphis was established. The Sacred Heart High School building, convent, and the Kempfuse Gymnasium became chancery facilities. The first Bishop of Memphis, Carol T. Dozier, was heavily involved in the city's efforts to resettle the first wave of Vietnamese refugees in 1975 many of whom settled in Midtown near the resources of Catholic Charities. A second wave of Vietnamese immigrants came in the 1980s. Vietnamese priests from other dioceses and parishes were invited to celebrate Mass in Vietnamese periodically, then regularly at Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart pastors were implementing the vision of the Second Vatican Council while honoring the wishes of the parishioners regarding the adaptation of the church building. The shell over the pulpit was removed, but the altar railing was kept. In 1988, the third bishop of Memphis, Daniel Beekline, asked former Jesuit Father David Knight to lead the now inner city parish of Sacred Heart, which had been depleted of membership by white flight. Father Knight was a writer, a theologian, and talented retreat giver, but he had little experience in being a pastor. Believing greatly in the invitation of the Vatican Council for the laity to be more involved in parish life, Father Knight recruited a husband-wife team from Oklahoma, Paul and Judy Gray, to assist him. Paul, also a theologian, focused on pastoral care and adult faith formation, and Judy, a musician and liturgist, developed liturgical ministers and celebrations that involved all who worshiped there. The Spanish-speaking population of Shelby County was increasing dramatically. Word spread quickly that Father Knight could speak Spanish, and soon Sunday noon masses in Spanish were standing room only. Father Knight made everyone feel welcome. It was his gift. The Spanish-speaking immigrants needed much assistance. An anonymous donor gave Sacred Heart sufficient funds to pay a salary to develop a Hispanic ministry, the first in the diocese. Parishioner Suzanne Weed was sent to the Poor Clare Monastery in Guatemala for Spanish intensive language training, then began working to meet whatever need was brought to her. She assisted with filling out immigration forms, tracked down resources for Spanish speakers across the community, published a reference directory, assisted with liturgical celebrations and sacramental preparation. As a result of her work, Sacred Heart Church became known as far away as Granada, Spain, as a resource for Spanish-speaking individuals. The ministry, was a basis for the development of the multicultural ministry of the diocese and the citywide entity now known as Latino Memphis. Large gatherings of the Hispanic community were held on the grounds of his way house in Fraser 
including the Mexican traditional live crucifixion on Good Friday. Sacred Heart became the mother church for the Spanish-speaking Catholics in the diocese. In the 1990s, Curcio weekends in Spanish were begun and the community began its annual procession from Sacred Heart to Immaculate Conception Cathedral for the celebration of Our Lady of Guadalupe on December 12th. Other Mexican traditions, such as Quincianeras, Dia de los Muertos, Las Posadas, and Los Pastores were added to parish celebrations. Community-wide celebrations, especially at Pentecost, became a single trilingual mass with three choirs assisting. In 1999, the centennial of the founding of the parish was observed. The theme of the event, Three Languages But One Community, was celebrated with an original bilingual song composed by parish music minister Terry Starr. One Community of Faith, Una Comunidad de Fe. In 2001, the fourth Bishop of Memphis, Terry Stibe, SVD, petitioned his Divine Word Missionary Order to send priests to serve at Sacred Heart and other parishes in Memphis. In 2002, Vietnamese Father Joseph Dao Vu became pastor and was assisted by American Father Frank Drizak, Vietnamese Father Dominic Nguyen, with Argentinian Father Miguel Ruiz and Paraguayan Sister Miriam Cespedes SSPS to serve those who spoke Spanish. Community-wide celebrations came to include Vietnamese New Year Tet and Missionary Sunday. In 2004, Southern Living Magazine did a feature article on the Tet celebration. A diverse youth ministry was led by Kristen Fox who brought together neighborhood youth to work, play, and worship with young Vietnamese and Hispanic parishioners. In 2005, Manor House, a ministry to the homeless at 1268 Jefferson, was founded by Sacred Heart parishioners Kathleen Krusek and Peter Getke, a fruit of the ongoing work for social justice inspired in the parishioners. Also in 2005, the Vietnamese community at Sacred Heart achieved a chapter of TNTT, Eucharistic Youth Ministry bolstered by adoration of the Eucharist. Vietnamese choirs, Catholic mothers group, and men's group were also formed. In 2012, Father Simon Wong was named pastor. Much time, skill, and resources were put into caring for the buildings. The garage was renovated into a kitchen and a meeting area. The old St. Vincent de Paul soup kitchen building was remodeled into a new rectory. Additional land was purchased and paved for parking. The basement crypt was restored to its original large open meeting space, its kitchen renovated, and a men's bathroom added. Jose Magana became the Director of Religious Education, tending to the enrollment of 150 to 200 children and teens each year. Classes were held all over the campus and even across the street in the Dozier House building that had once been part of Sacred Heart School and Convent. In 2019, the church was closed temporarily due to the COVID pandemic, then opened again to the brave few, thanks to the care of dedicated ministers of the environment who disinfected the church after every gathering. The church was closed suddenly again, following a fire in the sacristy on May 8th, 2021. Masses were celebrated at other churches, sacraments at Immaculate Conception Cathedral, Pentecost outside in the street in front of the FedEx Forum with St. Patrick's parishioners. Ongoing for a year, 
English masses were celebrated in the dining room of the office building and Vietnamese and Spanish masses at Blessed Sacrament Church. Community-wide celebrations for the installation of new pastor Father Brandon Wen and the farewell to departing pastor Father Simon were celebrated in a huge tent in the parking lot at Sacred Heart. Repairs completed, the church was rededicated by Bishop David Talley, sixth bishop of Memphis on June 20th, 2022, just three months ahead of the centennial celebration of the building. 123 years into the vision Bishop Byrne had for this parish, we who gathered to pray here in this place come not because of geographical boundaries. We do celebrate one faith, but not just one culture, or just one race, or just one language. We are the multicultural people of God, His Church, at this corner of Jefferson and Cleveland. The Sacred Heart beats on in each of us. Who will worship here in the next hundred years? Happy 100th Anniversary!